guys, and welcome back to Jet Set Radio, Chapter 2, Combo and Cube. So let's get this started straight away, let's jump into the street, oh, wow, I nearly forgot, and Arrival has already come up, I nearly forgot fan art, my god, we can't do that, we need your help, think we can join you, yeah, we, we'll, we'll do this while we show the fan art, we'll do it at the same time, because you know what rival battles are like, anyway, this is by someone whose name I can't remember every, every now and then what I do is uh, is I kind of pick up fan art like a few days before and then I'll forget but the link will be in the description I'm very sorry for that it is on DeviantArt I know that so you can find the name from there very sorry but this is awesome this is like a hand-drawn thing this was really cool uh, this was basically me being a Nyan Yoshi Nyan Yoshi Nan British I, I don't know but all I know is that it's awesome, it lo Well, that was a really quick fail. That was- wow. That, that was poor- yeah, I know how to do it. I'm, geez, okay, so go over here. I can't believe how quickly I failed that. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. And then over here. No, okay. This one actually- uh, okay. This one might be a little harder. Yes, I know how to do it. God, his name I can't remember. God, okay, I'm awful with names today. Uh, right, actually, oh, no, I can, no, I can't go back up. Things aren't going my way today, and we're only about two minutes into the episode. That's not good. Anyways, that was the fan art, guys. If you want to submit your own, all the information on how to do so is in the description of this video. Go check it out. I love seeing every single piece of fan art you guys send me. I've been getting more and more recently, especially through email. I do like that method. That is really nice. Actually, no, I think I prefer DeviantArt because it's kind of more community interactive, you know? I think it's a good time, so go and check that out. Greatly appreciated, guys. Thank you very much. Anyway, so there was Cube. Let's go combo. Please. It sounds like he's begging. Please, let me join you as a member. Please. My life depends on... Well, your life doesn't depend on this. I mean, come on, let's be honest. Anyway, what have we got to do? I don't even know what we got to do. You didn't say, or did I skip past it? Uh, I probably skipped past it. Oh, is it a, uh, is it a spray first thing? It could be that. Or is it just go over here first, or... Nope, it's do this, and I'm... Where am I? What am I doing? This is not well framed. He's over there, got that. Uh, things like this piss me off. I've been, I've played a few games where they have these awkward, like, fixed cameras. It's just... Really, really annoying. I don't know where he went. Uh, is it this way? I guess I've got to check. I. Yeah, he's over here apparently. Oh, and then you go down here. Okay, I think I might lose this one. I might have to do this one again. That would be bad. That's bad about roller skating. And actually, just any extreme sport. It's all... <laughs> I don't know how to phrase it. It's all, like, based on the street. He's dancing, so I guess I'm fake. Oh, no. It's all, like, based on the street. And the street, my friends, is a complicated place. I'm not talking about, like, the ghetto. Okay, I tried to do something from South Park there. And I had... Well, it's not from South Park. It's from a song originally, and then they ripped it off. Nothing's really from South Park. Uh, but I'm not dissing South Park in any way or shape or form. I actually love South Park. South Park is a fun show. Uh, wow. That was a dick move right there. What was that? God, what an asshole! I do love South Park, but uh, yeah, no, no, no. Oh my God, I'm not doing good today. But uh, yeah, I'm not saying in the ghetto. I'm, I just kind of mean like tricky dicky. You know, you know, you know those tricky dicky things. I I've been saying that a lot recently. Although I'm a bit of a hypocrite, I did actually used to skateboard myself. I didn't rollerblade. I did use to skateboard. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. I did rollerblade. Uh, I did skate. Sorry. And that was a lot of fun, but I ended up giving it up because... Oh, here he goes, begging again. Because, uh, I actually had a few injuries. I mean, I, you know, I might as well tell you about them. Basically, I had two main ones. Uh, both were when I was quite young. Like, I started skateboarding when I was probably, I don't know, maybe like eight years old or something. Because I always had this fascination with it, right? Always loved it. And eventually, my friend came over to my house one day, and she had this, like crappy little it wasn't even a skateboard I don't even know what you'd call it but it was like this wait, wait it was like an over safe skateboard like it was the skateboard that you would imagine super protective parents to buy their kids because they think 
they're skateboarding, but at the same time, they're um, they're kind of being safe as hell, right? I'm, I don't know what's wrong with just some knee guards and a helmet. I don't know, but it was one of those kind of things. And uh, and basically, long story short, I ended up keeping that for a while. No, I didn't steal it. I just kind of borrowed it for a long time. I ended up taking that for a while, and then uh, and then eventually, my dad saw that I loved it a bit too much. I'm just like, fine, Yoshi. He didn't, well, he, did, he didn't call me Yoshi. That would be a bit strange. He would be a time traveler. If my dad was Doctor, I did it again. If my dad was Doctor Who, I would really love that. But uh, I ended up getting a proper, come on. I hate Cube. He's, God, he's, I don't want to say it, but he's fat. Uh, he's really not fat. It was just the only insult I could think of. Uh, and uh, I ended up getting a skateboard and I joined this skate park, it was this awesome skate park in my area. See, now I don't know where to go. Uh, I'm gonna have to find out on the map before I screw this part up again, hold on. Okay, he's going that way. Maybe I can cut him off. No, I can't cut him off. Okay, that's that's not good then. Oh, what? This shouldn't be taking this long. This is gonna be an episode where I just do a showdown, isn't it? That's what this is gonna be. So I got a skateboard, I joined a skate club, and uh, it was like, well, it was a skate park, but they, they it was a really work, uh, like, well run one, like it was indoors, it was a club, uh, they had like lessons and everything, and me being the naive Yoshi that I was, I was like, oh okay, I'm gonna do skateboarding lessons, so I did those, and in one of the classes, I got pretty good actually, but in one of the classes, I dropped in on a half pipe, and there was a bunch of kids skating it at the same time, and I dropped in, and it was of no fault of my own, I, uh, god, I'm, I'm not, god, I'm just really annoyed at myself right now, I'm doing awfully, I'm like, he won't, he won't fast sprint, whatever you want to call it. It's really annoying. Like, a freaking bastard over here can go as fast as he wants and use his jet, and I can't do it at all. Look at that, he gets so much more than me. God, that really annoys me. You can hear me mashing the uh, right trigger to try and get it. It's not happening. And uh, I dropped in. And this other little kid, like he must have been, I was probably by this point maybe like 11 years old. And this other little kid at this point, he was 8, he dropped in and, uh, okay well that was better done. He dropped in and we basically collided and instead of me hitting him, which I don't know, I guess I would have been okay with because a human body is a beautiful shield, that's all I'll say. That is mean as hell, but it's the truth, a human body is a brilliant shield. Instead of that, he mashed me into the, uh, oh, do I have to do it again? No, I don't. Okay, that's where I went wrong then. He mashed me into, th oh, fuck you! So close. He mashed me into the grinding rail, and at this point I had uh, one of my front tooth, uh, one of my front teeth was, like, almost coming out, because it was just, you know, baby teeth. Mine came out, my baby teeth came out really late, if you're wondering why I was, like, 11 with a front tooth being wobbly. Yeah, my teeth came out really late. And the tooth... Didn't just come out of its suit, uh, its suit, I was gonna say its socket or its root, and I mixed the two words and ended up coming up with suit. It didn't come out of its, uh, socket, well it, well it did, but it didn't only have that, it also burst my lip. Yeah, gruesome. It was horrible, like it, it, it came out of my, uh, yeah, I, I keep wanting to say suit now, it came out of the socket, and it basically, pierced the front of my top lip and it was the most painful thing I have ever experienced. I've never broken a bone. Like I've been very lucky so I guess that would be more painful but it's the most painful thing I've ever experienced. It burst through there and I was like spitting out blood and freaking- how did I fall over? Spitting out blood and like freaking out and everything. And I had a really bad concussion. I had the fattest lip you will ever see. Uh, so that was the first injury. The second one was maybe like two months after this. And it's another face one, just a heads up. I this was like the worst two months of my life. I really wasn't lucky. And uh, I was going down this other kind of like, this was a much more ghetto kind of skate park. Again, I say, in the ghetto. It's much more ghetto skate park. It was just one of those ones that's fenced off in an area. And you just kind of go there and the, the thugs, look at me being all politically incorrect. The thugs hang out there and do their thing. Okay, I've got to do this now. I got, I'm not gonna, how do you catch up with him? How do you do that? That's impossible. I might have to cut and do this, guys. And uh, I, I'll tell the story once more and do this once more, because I'm sure you guys are tired of seeing this, because this is pissing me off now as well. I've been doing this for the whole episode, pretty much. 
And, uh... And I went down this ramp, and of course, everyone hung out there, and you had these, like, 12-year-olds drinking and stuff. And they weren't there when I was skating, but, you know, they drank there. And one of them basically smashed a bottle in, uh, on, like, on the ground, just below this ramp. And my wheels kind of hit the glass, and it was this massive chunk of glass. They hit the glass. It basically jarred my wheel, and, uh, I... I fell face first into the glass and a massive piece of glass like shot up into my chin again one of the most painful things I have ever experienced and that was around the point that I kind of decided okay um, maybe I should take a break from skateboarding and I just kind of never got back into it like I, I used to skate every now and then uh, I had one thing where I, uh, I was skating outside this, this, like, it was pretty much my house, it was just the neighbourhood. Next thing I know, the police are up, all up on here. Pretty much like in Jet Set Radio, actually, I've been going on the whole series about, you would never get, like, this amount of, like, police to stop a, uh, to stop a skating crew, but hey, it's happened to me. I mean, fine, maybe it was one community officer, but whatever. <laughs> same point, same issue, I'm trying to look hard, just roll with me here. So uh, he came up, and I was just like, yeah, okay, I'm never doing it again. But it's kind of suitable that I bring that up, actually. I've been thinking recently... I'm going to fail it again. I've been thinking recently, I kind of want to start again, like, this summer. Like, on the side, because I really enjoyed it. And I wasn't necessarily that bad, either. Like, I think at one point, I could do 360 flips. I think for, like, a 12-year-old, that's pretty good, right? So, I've always wanted to start it up again. And if I do, I will definitely keep you guys updated. Because I think that would be quite fun to follow. My my Yoshi... Let's do a series. My Yoshi Start Skating Again series. God, that sounds awful. Okay, I'm definitely caught up with him more. It's because for some reason I don't get a good boost with this fucking guy. Look, I'm mashing it and he won't boost. It's awful. And this bus always comes here and I always hit it. Although apparently I didn't that time. So I'm going to cut to when I next do it, I think. Because this is almost ridiculous now. And I will see you guys on the other side. I've been rambling a lot. I've recorded a lot of episodes today. I just kind of realised I'm getting to that point where I've spoken so much. I don't know what to talk about anymore. If that's a possible thing. I guess skating is a cool topic to talk about. Especially in Jet Set Radio. I mean, it is suitable. But, uh, yeah. I've never had that before. Yoshi's brain is dying. I've got YouTuber block. I think that's the right word for it. I've definitely got YouTuber block. So I'm going to cut to when I finish this. It will probably be a much longer time again as well. Because seriously, I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. But it's just awful. So I will uh, I will catch up with you guys in a second. Ah! Car boost. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Actually, do I need to? Can I try and get it on one go now? Can I do this? Please. Please. This is almost painful for me now. This is painful. Please. Please. Oh my god. Cars were my solution, and cars are my failure. <laughs> oh, this is... Yeah, not good. Come on, 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 come on! Oh my god, I don't have any cans! Oh my god, I don't have any cans! Oh god, I was so intent on grabbing onto a car that it just didn't work. Oh god, I'm really close to raging right now. Oh, I'm so close to doing it now. Come on, come on. Yes. That was so much more painful than it needed to be. Combo. Go die. Go die. And beat you go die too. I mean, I don't care that I play as you all the time. Go die. From now on, you guys are GG too. But you have to tell me what's really going on. Okay. Is this storyline? Oh my god, it is. Alright, two months ago. Ooh. What could be happening? Grind City! My turf. My name's Combo, and me, Cube, and Coin used to own the Banton Street area in this city. It's a little far from Tokyo, but everyone used to stay out of our way there. Till recently, that is. Someone been going around painting these ugly signs all over Grind City. It's so ugly I can't even call it graffiti. Strange paintings of rhinos and bizarre symbols. All of our old graffiti's been covered up by these horrific signs. And on top of that, 
coin has been kidnapped and his enormous collection of records has been destroyed. Ever since the emergence of these paintings, strange things have been happening in this city too. Unfamiliar black cars and men in black suits are hanging around the streets as if they're waiting for something. Oh wait, was that statue here at Grind Square always this color? There's definitely something wrong here. I smell something fishy going on. Oh no, not something fishy. Fishy is the worst kind of smell. Actually, that's a fact. I'm not a fan of fishy smells. That could be taken really strangely. Anyway, guys, I'm going to finish this episode off here. So, as always, thank you for joining me. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy it. Don't forget to submit some fan art as well if you want to do some. All the information on how to do so is in the description, as I said before. And until next time, guys, I will see you later. Thank you.